All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? Look, I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You got to make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. I'm not going to miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey! doesn't kill you will make you stronger well i haven't killed you yet and you're still pretty pathetic hey shut up <clears throat> uh okay so um total hypothetical but if i was like a huge asshole and i wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here uh what exactly would i need to do well you'd probably break the fuel line or i don't know rip out the rotor arm and yes that would make you a total asshole okay and what does a rotor arm look like again it's like a arm that's all rotary you know it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out jake you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here one more night with emma wouldn't make a difference trust me chick's made up her mind yeah sure i guess we'll just have to find out why though? Am I gonna break the fuel line? We're gonna steal the rotor arm again? Because I feel like breaking the fuel line would cause an issue in the future. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, Go don't. Long. Oh, Nick. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Ooh. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm mean, gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben.
Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good not to have a crash on you. Oh, God, why'd I say that? I had a knock on wood. I've never been to a summer camp. Well, no, I, I went to like a small one, but nothing like fancy dancing for the summer. Okay, so we're introduced to her now. Nerd. All right, my hand slipped. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Really? Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. Not All right, yet. well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. I can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. I would do this one day. I'd be camp counselor. That'd be kind of dope. Why would this place be in the news? Didn't even fucking read it. This was little Izzy's. I want to play a game. Come up. <laughs> you gonna go outdoors? Let's get you back to Izzy. <sighs> That's a weird choice. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements.
That lady's everywhere. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Yet, I'm pretty sure there's a, um, a card here. Ready to roll? Wait. Not just yet. I don't like that. Well, come back when you want. I guess I was missing something. <sighs> Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? This dumb bitch. I got a choice. Sure. Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. As you should, holy with my channel. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> my favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is, is that smoke? 
Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is, like, patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. <clears throat> yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, really enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, hey, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Wait a minute. Oh. Get those butts hey. in gear. 
Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to impress the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. He seems sketchy too. Well, he was. His vehicle was here on that night. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with the. 